the fitness test. That means that Derek Johnson, although he is not captain, will play a vital role today for Rangers in defence. Well, Celtic have changed from Wednesday night. They've dropped Don Sullivan and Mark Reed is on the bench. Into this side comes uh, Roddy McDonald, and interestingly enough, McLeod plays with the number three jersey. It'll be interesting to see where he plays. And, of course, back for Celtic, that conspiring figure, the captain, Danny McGrain. They badly missed him over the past two games. There's Brian McGinley, whose pencil almost turned to molten lead last week when he booked eight and sent off two in the Scottish Cup semi-final. He will require to be very sharp today, and he knows it. They'll have to do it in style against their oldest rivals in a magnificent setting, a beautiful day, and a volume of noise that would frighten an army. Off we go into what might prove to be the most significant old firm game of the season. Really, the noise coming from the two stands and the enclosure below us, I don't think I've heard it quite as intense for a long while. Celtic may have been knocked out of the Scottish Cup, but judging by the support they have here today, the noise of the supporters, you would have think they chalked up a notable victory. Charlie Nicholas. Oh, Stuart. There must have been a bit of spin in that. There's Nicholas showing us right again how sharp he can be. I think he may have seen a, a slight sign about Stuart there that he did not expect the shot, and in it went, and that looked a half cumbersome save. and hoisting himself up, the clearance not effective, and that is a free kick. Doing a bit of mountaineering, free kick to Celtic in a good position there. Into the middle go the high-scoring pair of uh, Nicholas and McGarvey as Proven aims to take this. They try to curl it round, he does, and there's too much loft in that. Davy Proven, whose exciting play must have attracted the attention, surely, of Jock Steen over the past month. Eric Johnson, now McLean. Good ball down the side, the two brothers together. Tom winning the first contact. Miller. That's McLean doing a lot of playmaking for Rangers. He's lacking it. Redford can't get the opening. Russell. That's a good tackle though by Conroy. Defending well. Up comes Miller. Much too soft with his pass eventually. Redford. Here's McKenna. And oh, that tough pass. That would have been an own goal. There was no touch, it was a goal kick in fact, and it floated away there, and Bonner looking slightly stranded. That's Danny McGrain. Down the line to McGarvey and Derek Johnson. That's the kind of touch, of course, that tells people around them that he's going to try and remain cool under pressure. Johnson playing on the right. And all Monty McLeod had to do there was simply find the spot, jump, and the safety was behind it. Bet slightly delayed in going for that. He just gets a cross in. There's McKenna, a great save. Proving himself a very safe and secure goalkeeper. Bet just managing to get it across. The touch right to McAdam. And he took it, kept it low, the goalkeeper smothering it. Well, Redford going for this. A good break by Redford. He has Bet going on the left. And finishes weekly. Celtic. Really on top, and Nicholas won't get that this time. And I would imagine.
imagine what a on top, Nick. not allowing Russell and Bet to settle in midfield. That's almost up beside us. Here's Russell. It's a good looking ball, McLean. Lovely dummy by Tommy Bunce. Beautiful play. Jackson. McLeod giving the support. And there's Miller with it. And Miller might well have left that to his keeper. There was obviously no shout, but he the goal. Breathing down the necks of this Rangers defence. We've seen a lot of the play in this first half. In it curls, McDonald almost getting there. Here's Buns with a chance. Couldn't get a shot in, and that's why. And the play seemed to be bogged down. The way. High and slack. And Rangers making nothing of that whatsoever. That's a free kick. Here's McLeod. Burns. Betting Johnson in again and playing well, as I said. Hovering ball. McLeod. Looks like we might try the lofted one. Jackson is there with Nicholas. Nicholas trying to wriggle his way out of that. Almost does and gets a corner. And it took two Rangers players to keep him cornered like up the touch. Tackled by Bet, and there's Jackson. And uh, a bit pushed, pushing that forward. No composure about it at all, and Sandy Jordan is warming up. Now uh, here's Aiken. Might be going one of these runs of his, that's a good ball. Charlie Nicholas, twisting well on it. Great save. That is quality play from Nicholas again. Twisting and turning, delicate though, always keeping his balance, equilibrium always there, and the shot and stood it very well. Rodney yeah. McLeod looked as if he wanted a shot at goal that time. Jordan, all the time in the world this Well, Sandy Jordan is uh, obviously the kind of uh, talent that sitting on the bench rangers can always bring on and play a defensive position they've been under pressure in that area redford nowhere near it bet better ball by bet 10 minutes of the second half gone we're still to see a goal miller well, there's no danger of anybody else getting it other than the celtic goalkeeper brought that out problem he was docile with him neatly inside he wants a return here's jackson Proben coming up on it it's a goal by nicholas charlie nicholas offers a scoring for celtic 11 minutes of the second half gone as the celtic end erupts and i would hold responsible for that davy Proben on the right
supporters obviously quite delirious with joy and the Rangers and trying to respond and get something out of the team. It's been a flat performance by Rangers. Johnston and the play goes on, there's no whistle. Jordan comes out of it well. Miller. Better play, Jordan with it. Now back. Yes, almost there by Ben. Good play by Ben that time. Took a very good position from that ball. Juggled a bit with it to try and get his shot in. And just on the wrong side. Robin. Need play by Celtic again. Conroy couldn't get away. And that should be Stuart Ball. No, it's... Oh, that's a dangerous one by Jordan. That ball bouncing about and Stewart didn't real, uh, relish the thought of coming out for it. Miller. Bradford. Here's Russell. Jordan. Driving it in and Bet trying to get under that. by Johnson well if ever Rangers had an opportunity to get the ball in the back of the net it was there caused by that high suspended ball and McAdam doing well very well to fluster the keeper breaking down there the second header going in off the crossbar coming back out and then pushed away So can't quite get control. John McDonald's there. And it gets a little bit wild and the referee right on top of that comes in very quickly. And Celtic are now a couple of minutes away from always making certain of this championship. No more than they deserve. The superior team by far. It's a lot going again, Johnston's in. And I think that's a free kick. No. Referee waving play on. It's Derek Johnston threw himself into that attack. McAdam with his brother Colin coming up on him. still goes on Jackson down and Jordan can only do that we have about a minute and a quarter left Celtic supporters already celebrating Charlie Nicholas drifting forward again still has possession inside lovely little reverse pass and I think offside one of a cloud one minute left Clay. Johnson has been pushed forward by Rangers. Can't get the reverse pass in. Jackson, right off balance. Dawson. And once again, Celtic defence picking up the attacker, pushing it forward neatly. They've done this with uh, great finesse throughout the game. Another driving force of Danny McGrain. There he is again. He's made it look easy this afternoon. Throwing. Won't be too unhappy with the way the 
the play's going at the moment and getting that corner kick as we are now into injury time. And so Davy Proben, now in the Scottish international squad, to take the corner kick, which may be the last move of the game and the last effective move by Celtic towards winning the championship. Runs with them and gets another corner kick. No, Leisman says it's a goal kick. As the Celtic supporters, in full throat, sensing that the final whistle is almost upon us. The two points that Celtic wanted, they have got. That tells its own story. Celtic have got the two points that takes them to the championship. There's Charlie Nicholas, who scored that excellent goal, and uh, it could not be more fitting for the man who's done so much for Celtic this season. The great.